What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spill the Beans. And today I'm going to be giving a little review of this coffee grinder. This is my first ever coffee grinder. And I have it out here. We're going to we're going to grind up some beans and just overall just see how this thing works and if it's something that you maybe need to consider. So, stick around. Hope you enjoy. All right, so we have our coffee grinder out and this grinder isn't extremely sophisticated or hard to put together whatsoever. Uh, it's a three piece setup. So you've got the top cover here that pops right off and you've got this little inside piece here that you turn to the left and it pops out. That's where your uh, coffee beans go. So after you grind them, you, you can just pop that little thing off and pour your uh, ground up coffee beans into your filter for whenever you're about to make your coffee. So we're going to put this back in, screw on the top back, put this back on for now. Okay, and we have our beans here. Some other things we're going to need is a small container and a scale to weigh your beans. So I looked this up and I'm going to make one cup of coffee, just a single cup. And I'm going to need about 10.6 grams of coffee beans for my one cup of coffee. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to turn this on and have my Tupperware on it. It's in grains. Make sure your scale says grams whenever you go to weigh this out. So I'm on grams now. I only need 10.6 six grams of beans three hours later and come over to the actual grinder itself so we're going to pop this top back off got our beans here pour them into the coffee grinder and we're going to let it rip and see what happens all right and to turn it on you just press this button and whenever you let off of it it stops by itself so I press it oh no power there we go. And you really just grind this up to the consistency that you like your ground up coffee whenever you pour it into your coffee filter. So I'm just going to eyeball this for right now. Okay. Well. All right. That should be good. This is this is pretty fine actually. I mean, I probably didn't need to go as much as I did, but lefty loosey. Remember to take this thing off, and it pops right out. And that's what your coffee grinds look like. So it's pretty it's pretty fine. Uh, but yeah, this came out really really fine. It's actually surprising how easy this was. I mean it. Just out of the box, it, it came already all together. Uh, the only thing I had to do was plug it in. And uh, really easy, let's set this down. But if you can see here as well, so this has like the bottom of it actually pulls out. So it pulls out and then you literally wrap your cord into it one day, one day I'll get it all, okay? And then you push the top back up. There's a little slot right here for the cord to stick out and that's where your cord uh, stores. So it's really easy storage, uh, really easy use. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't have any issues with it at all. Uh, three piece design, very simple. I definitely recommend this. Uh, well, it's kind of hard for me to say I recommend it. I've only used it once. This is my first time, but uh, so far, I mean, I haven't had any issues with it. And I, I mean, I shouldn't, it's right out of the box. So now that we have uh, the ground up coffee, I'm gonna make some coffee and I'm also gonna give a review on it. We've gone ahead and ground up all of our beans and made our coffee, which I made this coffee just in my, uh, my Mr. Coffee, coffee pot maker. It's um, the simple, brew coffee maker 
But, uh, so, I mean, the smell, I'm not really getting, getting a little bit of a sweet smell from it. Uh, let's taste that one. Let's see what's going on. It does have a bit of a sweeter, like, lighter note to it. It's pretty good. I mean, it's it's fresh. This is the freshest that I've ever made coffee since I had to grind them. But um, the bean, the bean consistency, not very oily. Smells really. It smells smells a lot of vanilla. Vanilla, yeah. But uh, these are the beans. I showed them earlier, but not oily at all. Um, just have a lot of that vanilla smell to them. It's really good. I mean, to say that I would buy it again, I don't know about that, but... I mean, I will drink what's left here for sure. Um, so, Quill's Coffee, Inkwell Signature Blend. Uh, this is just saying they uh, they can taste a little bit of cane sugar, cherry, and vanilla. I'm tasting the vanilla. I don't know about the cherry and the cane sugar. Not sure about that. Uh, this is a blend. So, different origins of Colombia, Guatemala, and Peru. But I, I don't know if I would buy this coffee again. It is good, but I'm not sure. Hmm. It's pretty good. I mean, uh, this is just one of those coffees that is like, uh, is it worth it really to, to order it and have it come in? No, I mean, there's a difference between like this and, and say like Black Rifle, which is a lot, a lot bolder. Uh, this is, this is a lot lighter, just a, a lighter taste to it, a lighter, I don't know, a, a lighter smell. Very much vanilla though. There's a lot of vanilla in this. Uh... Those of you who, who are kind of new to coffee a little bit, the blends would probably really be good for you since they're 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 made up of different different types of roasts. So they that, that's how they kind of that's how you can kind of manipulate the flavors a little bit. When instead of doing all of, uh, one origin, you can differentiate it up between different origins, and then you can manipulate the taste much like much like. Um, putting different ingredients together to get a different taste. This is exactly the same concept, except they're just mixing beans from, from different locations. And those different locations each have their own unique taste to them, which then contributes to the taste of the coffee. So, like I said, this is, uh, th this is okay. I, I don't believe I'm gonna order it again, but it, it, it's good enough to wake up and, and enjoy a cup of coffee for sure. Uh, if you did like this review uh, and want to know more about this coffee or possibly the the grinder uh, the coffee grinder that I did a little review of earlier please let me know in the comments uh, go ahead and like and subscribe if you like the video if you didn't like the video go ahead and leave me a comment and let me know like what you would like to see from it um, different things like that what what would you want me to talk about? What would you want? What are like specifically what coffees would you want me to, to, to do reviews on? I mean, I've just been doing coffee that's been in my store and I, did, I got this one from a buddy who's part of a coffee subscription. So that's how I acquired this one. But, um, yeah, go ahead. Leave me a comment. If you'd like to see something, uh, I didn't have a guest on my show this time, but next week I probably will. I've also got some a cool new logo that's being made for me, so I, I'm gonna have my own coffee cups. Well, my own, yeah, my own coffee cups coming out with my logo on them. 
as well as uh, some other things, possibly t-shirts. I'll, I'll probably possibly have a t-shirt on next time. But um, yeah, so now I have a coffee grinder so I can grind my own whole beans. And I also, I have a, a French press that's coming in the mail in the next couple of days. So I'm gonna be doing a, a review on that as well. But if you liked everything, go ahead, drop a like, uh, subscribe, and let me know what you thought. Thanks.